Hey guys, how you doing? This is EJ Uno, guys, coming back again, guys, with another great video, guys. I am going to be talking about some new Super 7 figurines coming out. And not just the figurines, let's talk about this Thundercat layer that's coming out, guys. And we're just going to get all into it. This is going to be solely and only about Super 7. So here we go, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, guys. Let's get right to it. Okay, guys. So Super 7 is coming out with some G.I. Joe line figure. G.I. Joe um, in their lines. Uh, and these figurines are amazing. They look awesome. I, to my opinion, I think they look awesome. I think they look great. The, the the price tag that they have there is, you know, I feel like it's a little bit too much, but they do look awesome. So, uh, you can catch these. I'm pretty sure they're talking about you can catch these at the Comic-Con, and then soon they'll probably be on the website, and you probably see them inside some Targets. So, they're coming out with the City of the Dead Ancient Warrior Pack from G.I. Joe, and this thing looks awesome. You get, like, what, six figurines in a pack, and the art on it looks crazy it looks awesome the cobra symbol in the middle of the door with the two dragon dogs or whatever looking really awesome um they have a python patrol figurine coming out which is really cool and then uh what is this um i didn't even see this um the red uh, heel um what is it so it's okay it's a san diego edition seven inch scale gi joe ultimate figurine super seven unleash uh Reknan variant baroness and red jackal variant the so um Destro ultimate to heat up the summer collection season available at the super seven gi joe pop-up event during san diego okay i didn't even see that they had this this looks awesome though like i mean God, the Baroness looks awesome in that red, and Destro looks awesome in, gosh, that looks awesome. I like how the, the light's hitting it. It's it's nice, man. And the white, I don't, I don't think it's furry. It looks plastic, but it still looks awesome, though. So I didn't even know they had that. That was awesome. That's that's something I'm just actually finding out as I'm doing this video. But, um, yeah, so I guess these are going to be at the booth, the pop-up booth in San Diego. Unfortunately, I won't be there because I wouldn't really want to get this, so this looks awesome. So, but... It's it's awesome. I I wanna um, I really I guess I'm gonna have to wait till these come out. Um, uh, okay. So moving on from there, we have um, we have some uh, what's the toxic? Okay, okay. So you so on Super Seven now, if you were a fan like I was back in the day of the Toxic Crusader, you can definitely pick these up at the store. And they have them right right now at Super Seven, and I saw them. They had a big boy bad toys, and they have all three in the line. They have uh, what is this? They have uh, Toxic, uh, Toxic Man. They have Radio uh, Radioactive Ranger, and then they have the dog. What's his name? His name is uh, Junkyard. <laughs> so they have all three of them. So that is something awesome. I think I'm probably am gonna grab that up. And all three of those lines, so you can catch them at Big Bad Toys. Very, very cool line, and definitely want to uh, get these. So I think I'm pretty much going to get those and um, add them to my collection. Okay, so moving on from there, guys, let's talk about these the Thundercat. Because that's really what I really wanted to make the video about is the Thundercat layer. And very, very big Thundercat uh, fan. Even though I have had the Thundercats, I'm finding myself getting back a lot of stuff that I really do like and keeping it like that and calling it a wrap because it's always good just to have something you love. I mean, and I really do love the Thundercats. So they're coming out with the Thundercat layer. Definitely going to uh, end up getting this layer. And I think this layer is awesome. I think that it's, 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 it's very, very awesome. So just different pictures. And I've been, and every time, like seriously, guys, I can look at, you know, every time they debut a different Thundercat. And if you look in the background on previous Super 7 news, you see the Thundercat layer in the background. And I think this is something that they've been working on for like ever since like last year or something like that. Or ever since they came out with the Thundercats layer. And I think, and i tell you the truth, really, I, I really do think 
that it is. I do have a little bit of a question, but I uh, about the layer, but I'm definitely going to get to it. So um, lo look out for these pictures as I'm bring as I'm talking about all this stuff. So uh, you know they're talking about the layer, and then they give you like a, a brief picture of Lino, and he's like sitting in the chair, and it, it looks awesome. I like how they just have this type of like. You know, it, it's just really cool because, you know, the, the figurines are like seven inches. So to put him in the, the put him in, in his chair and have him sitting down and they're like at the computer station looking really cool. And I think that's awesome. I, 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 I want to know, even though the screen is like black or whatever or in the they're in the chair, I wonder if they're going to put like a little slip thing, but you can like, you know, change the color of it or whatever or put like a viewing thing of it or something like that. So I wonder if they're going to do that. So that's one picture that was really cool that, that really interested me in the turtle layer. And uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, okay, so now they have another picture that I wanted to put out that they have them with their weapon booth that they put their weapons into. And it looks like they have some stairs going up and everything. Like, this thing looks awesome. They even have the wires, like, hanging. Like, it looks awesome, though. Like, but I want it, but it looks like it's going to, like, close like this and you can open it that that's what it looks like it's going to do like the hinges are going to you're going to be able to close this thing carry it and uh -oh. or you could just open it for like a back angle or a front angle but it looks like it's going to be able to be able to fit where you need it to fit so that's really cool um let me see if i can grab some more pictures of this uh the, it was a, it was the one picture on here that i saw okay here it is is they have the 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 other part where I was talking about they're going to be able to turn it and you're going to be able to close it is they have the room chairs and those chairs now maybe it's just me but from where I saw Lionel sitting at and I see this room chair uh, where they sit at it looks like it's like really really small it really does it looks like it's like the chairs look very small for a 7 inch figurine that I hope it's just me, or maybe it's just the way of the picture, the way it looks. But it looks very small. This had, that, that was just my only concern. So, I wonder if it's going to be just like, you know, if, it, if it's going to make it bigger. And I wonder if just the way they were just doing it wasn't good. But it, but it does look cool, though. It looks like you're able... It, it really does. It, look, it, it looks like... Uh, I was thinking too fast when I said that. It looks like one of the Grayskull castles where you're going to be able to like take all the items put them inside it if you didn't want to like have it all out and i like how they're going at it because you know I can, I can see the way they're going at it and then they have like the little clamps which i know it's going to be a closed type of thing so the reason why i'm like so big about i'm happy that they're, they're able to like you be able to close it because if you don't have the room i'm sure it's going to be like you can just close it up and then put it to the side or whatever when you want to display it you display it when you don't you don't you know what i'm saying so i think that's really cool so can't wait to get that and uh now the price of it now knowing that the thunder cat and uh the witch that's something else i'm going to be getting into is the thunder cat uh um vehicle i'm definitely going to be getting that i think I'm, I, I saw it at best buy it lowered to 450 so i'm definitely going to be getting that as well as as uh, and getting the thunder cat layer so Awesome, awesome. And uh, now the price that we're going to talk about. Now, knowing that the vehicle was 450 this castle seemed like it's going to be around the same. I would say the castle is going to be around 500 to 550 Like, seriously, I don't think they're going to go no higher than the, than 500 to 550 But I really do think it's going to be like that. Just, just because I think they had like a little... I, I think that they... I don't think this castle is going to be huge. But I do think it's going to be, you know, in the middle. I don't think it's going to be small whatsoever. But I don't think it's going to be, like, huge like that. I do think it's just going to be enough for a 7-inch scale. Maybe about, uh, I don't know. Like, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's going to be, um, you know, tremendously, like, huge, like, off the wall. But I do think it's just going to be a comfortable size for all of us. You know what I'm saying? And I do think they're going to put it at, like, 500, 550. This, this knowing that how the Dundercat tank went, I don't think that they're... I think that they... I think that Super 7 did lose out on a lot of money when they made that tank just because of... I don't think a lot of people bought it. And then, you know, knowing that Super 7 stuff, it usually drops 
I, I feel like a lot of people um, saw that coming. You know what I'm saying? So um, I do think they're going to keep the price range at that. So um, now uh, now I'm waiting this for this thing to come out. Definitely going to be getting that layer. Definitely going to be getting the tank. But before I go, one thing I did miss that I was scrolling across is they're coming out with the Power Ranger. And this is something I can't wait to get is I want to get it in the green color. They're coming out with the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, the Dragon Zord. And, but they have at the San Diego Comic-Con pop-up is the black and gold version, which it looks amazing. Black, gold, red. It looks amazing. And, um... This thing, look, it says nine nine feet or nine inches tall. Not nine feet. I'm sorry. Nine inches tall. And uh, this thing looks amazing. But I can't wait to get the original green one. I, I'm looking at the place right here that I want to put it at. And I can't wait to uh, get it and have it for myself. So come on. They say it's supposed to be coming. I'm, I'm ordering off of Big Bad Toys. Or getting off Super 7. Or wherever they're going to have this thing at. Whoever has it first is getting my money. Because I can't wait to get it. So anyway, guys, um, that's something I want to put out. hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, guys, and I'll be back with more.